Hi guys, this is Greg Doyle for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Prediction time. Fight I want to talk to you guys about takes place Saturday the 17th of April. It is for the WBO World Middleweight title. It is between the champion Demetrius Andrade, who is 29 and 0, and he takes on the challenger Liam Williams, who is 23, 2 and 1. Guys, I'm really looking forward to this fight. I think it's going to be a fantastic fight. Um, so, so intriguing because Liam Williams seems to have this new belief in himself and he's been looking very good. And Demetrius Andrade thinks that his level's above and he's in the elite class. So when you've got two guys who really believe in theirself, it's, it's fantastic because you know they're both coming to win. Um, but as always in these videos, I will give you a brief background into both guys' most recent fights. I will give you my keys to victory and finally I will give you my prediction. So guys, let's start off with the champion Demetrius Andrade. Demetrius Andrade has had a little bit of an up and down career for a fighter who is undefeated. Um, he's kind of been in the who wants them club. He's coming off the good stoppage win over Luke Keeler, who looked as though he was having a bit of an Indian summer in his career, racked up a few good wins. He stopped Luke Keeler um, in nine rounds. He's got the win over Magic uh, Shuleki. Really good to fight that one as well. He looked good. He's got the common opponent with um, Liam Williams that they've both fought, Atlantis Fox. He fought Atlantis Fox when he was undefeated. He won that fight on points after climbing off of the canvas in the seventh round, which I learned today. I did watch the knockdown to see if it would affect my prediction, but it was a little bit of a trip shot where legs get tangled. It was a shot that put him down, but he got back up and he turned round and looked at the referee and he actually expected the referee to rule it a slip. If you guys go back and watch it, he's very surprised that it was ruled a knockdown, but I suppose all fighters kind of do that, don't they? Um, Looking at the challenger, Liam Williams, as I say, Liam Williams is 23, 2 and 1. Um, I've always wondered if Liam Williams is a middleweight. He's got the really good victory. He's coming off a first round demolition of Andrew Robinson. He's got the stoppage win over Atlantis Fox. He fought Atlantis Fox after um, Fox had lost the decision to Andrade. He dealt with Fox really well, looked very strong, stopped him in that contest as well. And you know, he's come on so so much since the losses to Liam Smith both of them the first fight we know it was nip and tuck until he got the cut eye and was pulled out in the corner second fight I think Liam Smith had his number a little bit and he lost it on a relatively close but convincing points decision um, but it's a really really intriguing fight one I'm really looking forward to if I can move on to keys to victory for me I think that for Demetrius Andrade he needs to show Liam Williams respect Use that wide southpaw jab. Keep him off. Keep him off rhythm. Don't go in and look for big shots early because you can absolutely almost guarantee that Liam Williams is going to want to come out and take his head off. Um, so I would pump out a southpaw jab, frustrate Liam Williams, and then test his engine in the second half of the fight. He's been looking good against these guys in the first half of the fight. Let's see how he is when he gets into the second half. Um, keys to victory for Liam, uh, sorry, for Liam Williams. I think he has to be very aggressive in this fight but be careful as well. Can't go in recklessly, but I think he needs to put immense pressure on Andrade. Um, make him work so hard that when the fight perhaps does go into the second half, maybe that's going to be Liam Williams' strong point. We don't really know, do we? Um, he seems to cope with the distance well anytime I've seen him before Liam Williams, but Demetrius Andrade doesn't seem to eat a lot of punches and fight at a fast pace. So I think that if you're going to beat him, that's the tactics in the road that you have to go down. Um, but guys, over and on to prediction time, you know, if you asked me about this fight about a year ago, I would have been convincing in which way I thought it was going to go. And I still do think I'm convinced one guy is going to win, but I don't think it's going to be as easy as I thought some time ago. Um, I just see Demetrius Andrade having too much for Liam Williams. With all due respect to Liam Williams, I'm not buying into this new, the machine. He's walking through everyone with the greatest of respect. Let's look at the opposition that he's walking through. They're good fighters, but they're not serious world contenders. With all credit to Andrew Robinson, the minute one shot landed, he didn't look as though he wanted to be there. Atlantis Fox, again, 
fair play to Liam Williams, he came out and fought tremendous, he looks as though he's got a bit of power, but Fox didn't really look interested in that fight as well. And styles make fights, I know that Fox went the distance with Andrade, but to a certain extent, that's Andrade's game, he's, he doesn't come out looking for it the same way as Liam Williams does. And I just feel that Demetrius Andrade will, will frustrate Liam Williams and I think overall he'll have too much for him. Whether he stops Liam Williams or not, I'm not sure. It'll really all depend on what kind of tank Liam Williams has if it goes into the second half of the fight. I do see Liam uh, Williams having his moments in the fight. I think he could stumble and rock Andrade. But I just think that, you know, Andrade's a special fighter. And I just believe he'll find a way and I think he'll win this fight. So guys, my prediction, Saturday the 17th of April, WBO World Middleweight title is for Demetrius Andrade to beat Liam Williams. Guys, Greg Doyle, 8 Sleep Boxing Repeat. Please subscribe to our channel, check out all of our social platforms and I'll be back to speak to you guys again soon. Take care, thank you.